Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48 and welcome back to Enshrouded. So like usual, the comment section has been a gold mine of good tips and information and other things to think about. Um, I did write down a few tips from a couple episodes ago because I'm a little bit ahead. Uh, so yeah, let's go over them now. You can get tar with the charcoal kiln. Well, there you go. That is freaking fantastic. I did come down here and check it out. And that is indeed true. Uh, there you go. Tar. Uh, there's the recipe. Uh, we can also get wood acid, which is another thing I was looking at getting, but I didn't know how. So that's really good that we can get tar at a pretty decent clip. I mean, it does take a lot of wood, but we can get wood. So not too much of a problem there. Um, a lot of people have been telling me to do a trick with my bow that I keep seeing, and I'm like, I'm like, I don't know, I'll take a look at that. And I did take a look at it today. So let me show you what you could do with your bow. Um, you can right-click and go to equip. And then once it's equipped, all you got to do is hold Q for the bow. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't love it. I don't love it. I don't, I'm just... I don't know. It's just not for me. It's a really good tip. I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to use it. Um, I did acknowledge it, but I just don't love it. I kind of like playing with it on my hotbar. So um, thank you for the tip, though. It's definitely an interesting interesting game mechanic I was not aware of. Oh, another thing someone told me. When you, <laughs> when you farm, you want to make this soil because I didn't read it. It doesn't say fertile soil. It says farm soil, which, you know, is fine. But it says it will increase the growing speed of most plants. So I'm going to want to make this, and I see another building uh, episode in my future. It won't be this episode, but I'm thinking my next building episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the farmer into that house. It kind of looks more like a farmhouse than a carpenter's house. I don't know. I guess it could look like either kind, but I'm going to move the farmer over there, and then I'm going to kind of mess around with the, with the area over here and see if I can turn it into farmland. I think it'll be pretty cool. So thank you for uh, pointing that out. That's a really cool trick right there, no doubt. Do I have anything else? Okay, when you're when you're in a box, you can shift R to transfer stuff. Okay, so I was using R just to transfer stuff. Like if I had like this, let's say I had a couple things in here and I was just out doing some work and I had all this stuff, I was using R to transfer, but R transfers everything. So let's see if shift R, yes, shift R only transfers the stuff that's already in the box. Thank you for that. That's a great tip right there. Um, shift R, deposit stacks. <laughs> Hey, guys, I read. I read. I read the comments. <laughs> yeah, it was right there. Uh, still another great tip right there. So what do we want to do today? I think what we're going to do first things first is we are going to go get the hunter in the ancient vault. Oh, actually, before I do that, though, I did spend some time out uh, collecting resources. I collected a bunch of um, a bunch of scrap metal. Um, I did get some I did get a legendary um, two handed mace, which I'm probably just going to scrap because I don't use two-handed items and I think that's just about it if I'm missing anything I apologize but that was that was the major oh oh here check this out I did put a table in here that gives me plus two comfort to put my chest on because I didn't like my chest on the ground I'm probably going to build something to get this fire off the ground as well at some point and I think that brings you guys just about up to speed so let's go ahead and eat and let's drink and let's go on over here. I, I I actually came... Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to show you. Okay, darn it. I got to show you this really quick. So I went to all the way up here to the um, ancient vault of the farmer. I had I had a, a base thing set up right here. And then I made my way up here, came through here, and went and set up a home up here. Now you might be thinking, Cage, why did you send a home up? Why did you set a home up there? What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? I don't know. Well, maybe you do know because it's a great place to get... Clay? I forget what I forget what's up here. Uh, yeah, it's this right here. Oh, it does not respawn. Okay, I thought it would respawn after uh, after a game reload, but it does not. So yeah, this is where you get, I guess, just an unbelievable amount of clay. Yep, lump of clay. So there you go. So I did set up a little spot here so I can mine it all. It, I'm, I can't believe it doesn't respawn. Most things in this game do respawn. Uh, so that means there's going to be a li limited amount of clay in the game for me. Now, there's probably going to be a lot of clay. It is a big map, but that's still interesting. Because everything else responds. Everything by my house, like if I like if I mine out like big pieces of um, boulders and stuff on a reload, they respawn. So, that's pretty interesting. All right, first thing we're going to do is come over here. Have these guys, these guys haven't respawned either. Okay. All right, fair enough. There's some guys over there you could fight. Um, big, like, I don't even know. They just look like big animals of some kind, so... Anyway, let's come on in this uh, vault and let's get ourselves. Is that is this the last guy to get? I think this might be the last uh, the last guy I can get. Maybe. Oh, here they are. Yeah, these guys. 
Unfortunately, there's a shaman up there, though. We gotta go get the shaman first. Or he'll heal that guy that down there. There you go. Alright, so yeah, when I first came here, I fought this guy, and the shaman was up there, and the shaman just started healing him. And I was like, oh. Oh, no, you didn't. By the way, you can get a lot of, uh... Yeah. You can get a lot of the oh, is it animal fur? Yeah, animal fur. Here, which is just fantastic. And let's see this guy. Okay. Yeah, it's getting a little dark. But I think once I get in there it won't matter. Plus my sword gives me some light, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I think once I get inside the light won't matter. Right, past that. Um, I'm gonna look around in this place. I might even break a lot of those pots. We'll see. Who knows? Okay, there's a button. And let's grab this. Grab some of these pots. Ineffective. There we go. Sticks. Really? Oh, dried fur. That's really good. That's something I'm gonna be needing. That's why I'm here. I have some, uh, recipes that actually require dried fur. And I'm think, I think we get a drying rack here, so... Yeah, some useless stuff in there. Especially the button I had to push. Let's go check out the other side. When I came through here, I went straight up the middle. Um, I did it on a multiplayer uh, stream. And I went straight up the middle. And my buddy Eugene came onto the side. Alright, so that's already locked. So I think now we have to go straight across. I learned the hard way that you do, you do need stamina to <laughs> go through those hooks. Like on the wall to use your grappling, grappling hook. Again, in the multiplayer series, <laughs> tried to cross up, but I had enough stamina. And well, it didn't end well. It really, really did not end well. Oh, here we are. All right, Hunter, you've been hunted. All right, so now I can make uh, the drying rack and make the dry fur. Let's uh, look through the rest of this place and see what we can find. Um, do I have a torch? Yes, I do. Cool. I mean, the, um, the sword is pretty good, but the torch is better. So I think, uh, there's a way to get up. I just don't remember how. I have to look around over here. I'm not seeing anything obvious. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not seeing it here. Let's go back inside. And let's go over here. Nope, that's how I came up. Uh, maybe, oh yeah, it's up here. See that right there? Cool. Open this bad boy. Make that jump. Come through here. And we get up on the roof. We're on the roof of this place now. So there's not a button up here. There's a chest. That's right. A super chest. Come on, something good. Aw. I got some... Re I got a really sick sword. Like, a really sick sword in the multiplayer series. I'm looking for something like that again. It was a major upgrade to the Wailing Sword. I think upgraded it was like doing like 34 damage. Okay. So I hit the button. I don't know if it did anything. So I'm thinking maybe that downstairs part might be open now. Let's see if that gate downstairs is open. Uh, yeah, we're on the other side. Okay. We need to get back. All right. Then we go over here. Nope, that's the one. We, that's the button. It was on the other side. Sorry. Is this d gate open? Nope. So there's a button here. I'm missing. I didn't know if it was gonna work because you know I didn't think it was gonna work, so I didn't want to record failure, but it did. All you have to do is hit this with your wand, and that set off a button. And it was not this button though. So I'm not sure what button that set off. Okay, I think I found it. We're gonna come right over here. Whoops. There's a hook right there. So we gotta figure out how to get over there. That's gotta be it. I'm just gonna try to get over there. Oh, there we go. All right, double jump for the win, baby. Okay, let's get some stamina back. And back across. All right, love it. All right, cool. I was just about to give up too. All right, what do we got? Okay, I mean, not an upgrade, but still. Hey man, at least now I don't have to wonder. Let's go back home and let's see what we can do with the carpenter and by the carpenter of course i meant the hunter <laughs> yeah i think i've got everybody now hunter you can go right there hunter 
All right. And let's see what your deal is. Let's go ahead and take that quest. And let's see what we can craft with you. So a bag. We need to dry fur. Um, finally, we can make arrows. Ooh, copper poison arrows. Well, I don't have copper yet. But once I get copper, um, poison sacks. I know where to get poison sacks. When I went up north uh, to get that clay mound, I was killing something that was giving me poison sacks. I believe I, I believe it was the, um, there were plants up there. And I think those are giving me the poison sacks, but I could be wrong. I was definitely getting some with poison sacks. All right, so we just need some string for that. Um, fur patch. Oh, you can turn fur patch into animal fur. A resin torch is probably better than the regular torch. And then we could do sets of armor, which I'm not going to do because I'm pretty sure my armor is better. Um, I will look into it, though. Oh, scout set. 30, 30. Physical. And Wait, what's mine? Mine is mine 30. That feels better than the one I'm wearing now. No, OK, it's not. Well, it's got better magical defense, so might be something to think about. And then we can make some comfy carpets and some wall decorations, which is the fell Thunder Brute Trophy. Awesome. All right, first things first, go ahead and make a drawing rack. Some people were laughing at me that I thought two blue storage chests would be enough. And uh, yeah, I, I get the joke now. I get the joke now. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, well, it was enough at the time. But yeah, not enough. Definitely not enough. All right, let's go ahead and make that drying rack. And we will put it right next to you. All right, and I'm assuming this is going to take a while to dry this stuff, so... That's why I want to get this going as soon as possible. All right, and I'll put it on the other side. That looks good. Okay, and we've got two recipes here for dried fur and dried purple berries. Um, dried pur purple berries uh, are a lot worse. Uh, they only give one hit point regeneration, but they do last for five minutes. Um, I guess they would stack with the regular purple berries, but I got better things than that anyway. We'll get into that in a moment. Um, so we're going to need salt and animal fur. Sounds good to me. I believe I have a good amount of everything. I should probably move these storage items downstairs, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I like them up here. I, I can't even explain why. All right. So I didn't put any salt in there. So the things roll in here. Okay. Should I save a large... Should I save a good amount of uh, animal fur? Is it used for anything? I, I wouldn't imagine it is. Oh, so we don't have a lot of salt. I know where to get salt. We'll get some salt today. Uh, we're definitely gonna, this is not going to be a building episode. We're going to be going out and doing some more work. So, All right, here we go. go in there. And it takes three. Oh, three salt. My goodness. All right, we'll put 25 in there. Or 24. That should be pretty good. And let's go out and get some more salt. I'm going to show you where it is. It's pretty close. So, let's just come on out here. And go uh, this way. So there's going to be like a tower down here. Um, let me go ahead and refresh my water. So there's going to be a little tower down there. I'm not sure exactly where it is. Um, Eugene led it to me. Well, okay, hold that thought. Let's let's reel it back a little bit. Remember how I told you I thought the copper would respawn? You see this right here? I've... Oh, that's kind of weird. Collect. That's kind of weird. I've dug this down a few times. A few times. And it keeps rebuilding itself whenever I reload the game. That's why I thought the copper would reload. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's... Oh, there's the tower right there. You can get some salt in there. All right, here we go. I'm going to try and dive bomb right onto the top of it. Here we go. The top of this tower is out of the shroud. There we go. Cool. So there's going to be salt right here. So let's go ahead and collect some salt. I don't know what that is, but we can be attacked here, so we need to be aware of that. But yeah, so I got quite a lot of salt from that area, and I'm now drying stuff up. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the the carpet. Uh, are they all the same comfort? Yeah, depends on what you want them to look like. Um, yeah, big straw mat seems pretty good to me. Also, I'm going to come over here and show you what I got. Remember when I said I went up north? And I found that clay deposit. I also found some interesting new things like strawberries. And strawberries give plus three health per tick. So I'm going to plant these. Um, uh, do I want to plant them on farm soil? Nah, I don't think I'm going to... I should probably plant them on farm soil. I'm not going to go out of my way and like craft some big thing of it right now. But I am going to craft it on farm soil. I think we should also get to work on some more bone meal. Because if we're going to be doing farm soil stuff, we're going to want bone meal. So, and this isn't a crafting building video, but 
you know, there's some things I have to, I have to take care of, that's for sure. I'm not gonna overcraft uh, with the bone meal though, so let's just do split stack, there we go. 24, you get two, that's not a lot. You know what, let's just do the whole 50, we can always get more bones. All right, let's go ahead and put this carpet down. And I think this would be a nice area to put it in. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay, five. And uh, you can't put it on any table. Oh, you can. Okay, kind of. I don't know. Seems pretty good to me. There we go. Come for level 13, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now, we have a lot of quests to do. A lot of freaking quests. I think I'm going to get some of these search for the hidden tomb quests done. Uh... Oh, yeah, see, some of them are pretty close, too. Yeah, I think we're just going to get these Search for the Hidden Tomb uh, quests done. I heard there's some really cool stuff you can get in them. I got eight dry fur, so before we go out and do any more adventuring, let's go ahead and make this small backpack. All right, and equip. Cool. That is really awesome. I do like that. Can I put this back in there? Yes, beautiful. All right, let's get going. Um, Actually, what time it is it? Uh, I can never tell what time it is. Um... I, you know what? It'll probably be okay. It's not that it's not that far. Actually, it's really close. We could just fast travel the ancient spies. We'll be good to go. By the way, look right in front of me. I made um soil and I put down some strawberries. It's not gonna be the perf the ultimate place uh, for the sh for the you know soil, but it was just something I wanted to put down for the strawberries. All right, so we need to go this way. Let's go ahead and drink. And I guess we might as well eat too. And here we go. Jumping off. And let's see where we are. All right. So we are heading straight for it. I think it's that little building right there, that little ruin. And we're going to go check that place out. It's supposed to be some legendary shield in one of these quests I haven't been doing. So I got to check this out. There's just so much to do. Some people are like, like annoyed with me that I'm taking too long to get through the game. Uh, we're only on episode 10. And also, this is a really big game. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think I'm making decent progress for like how I normally do things. I mean, I'm not I'm not like one of those people who's gonna like put up one video a week and do like a day one through day 100. I, I put up, you know, you're gonna see a lot of it. I'll cut out the boring parts, but you're gonna see a lot of it. And I think that's exciting. That's the way I would want to watch videos. Oh, I kind of remember this. I remember this playing the demo the last time. We gotta break all these uh, cobwebs. I don't know if they're spawning the spiders or not, but. Gotta loot him up, too. Come on, loot him. Oh, okay, it's one of those loots. You just loot what's on them. You don't actually go into their containers or anything. Oh, I wonder if the, it's the eggs. Dude, those little spiders are creepier than the big ones. Give me that. Give me that. Go, you're done, and you're done. Give me your loots. Give me your critter parts. Whoa. What the hell is this all about? Oh, bone blocks. Okay, cool. I probably would not work with those, but it's pretty cool, though, I guess. In a sick sort of way. Alright, let's look through here. I'm pretty sure I've missed a lot of stuff. Oh, we're not we're not at the are we at the end or did we just go through a different passage? Try to jump at me, bro. Yeah, get, get these stupid eggs out of here. Any more eggs? Yep. No more eggs. No more eggs, thank you. This place is creepy as hell. Just just throwing that out there. Something in there. Can I um, mine through there? Nah, uh, doesn't look like doesn't look like anything. Only thing I don't like about this sword is it takes a lot of damage very quickly. where we came in. Alright, what's the journal say? 
It's gone. All right, whatever I was supposed to come in here to get. I guess the, the, the middle part was where I needed to go. Where's this place? Wait, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, bridge construction report. Show on map. F. Okay, I guess I gotta check out that bridge. Maybe I don't want to do that one next. Let's see what this one's all about. Um, building blocks. Okay. Where's that? Oh, that's way up there. Holy moly. Um, okay. Let's get this flame sanctum over here. Uh, oh, I'm not even that close to that. Oh, let's do the hunter spindle. That's something we could do. Although, I don't know why I'm fast traveling up here. I should probably fast travel home and get my weapon fixed, but whatever. We'll see if it's dark out or not. If it's nighttime, I'll go home. If it's not, I won't. All right, it's not, and I won't. So this is where I got the strawberries from, by the way. Okay, so we need to go to... All the way down here. Okay. Gotta watch out for these, like, plants around here that shoot crap at you. Pretty dangerous. I don't remember exactly how I got over there. Oh, here's the strawberries. Yeah, like me some strawberries. I love strawberries in real life. They're good because they're a berry. They're virtual. They're, you know, as far as fruit goes, they're like a low, you know, a low sugar fruit. Yeah, here. Okay, here we go. Here are the plants. So these plants are pretty funny. They shoot stuff at you. And if you get hit, like there's like a big thing on your head that sucks out your health. Um, and you got to run up on them. But the problem is having so many of them in one area is pretty dangerous. So why don't we go ahead and use our staff? Um, it doesn't say if it's effect. What is that, 51 damage? All right, let's see what the fire does. Yep, fire's the one. Damn it, we're out. Okay, fair enough. Yep, there we go. Got one on my head. I, I knew that was going to happen. I don't know if there's a way to get this off your head either. I just kind of usually flail about <laughs> do this <laughs> until it's off. And it seems to work for me. There we go. Um, it's really not the best way to do things. Um, so I don't think I have a choice, though. Let's just run in here and see what we can do. If you get right up on them, they can't hit you with those things. But the problem is when you're up on one, the other one hits you with it. So that's how, that's how they get you. That's how they F you at the drive-thru. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use a real healing on this one. And then we're going to rush in on this guy. And what you could do is when you just got one left, you're good to go. Because once you're close enough, they can't hit you. Unless you blow yourself up with a barrel. So, there's that. Okay, well, it all worked out for me. And this is where you get the poison sacks from. Alright, give me more poison sacks, please. Thank you very much. And... Come down here. It looks like it's starting to get dark, so I think I... Ah, uh, see... If I head home, I'm going to end up back up here again. Yeah, that's not good. Um, Alright, let's just go. See if we can do this. I don't think we're going to be able to do this quickly. I think we're going to have to head home and then set up up here. But I don't have a flame altar. Alright, this is not your problem. I'm going to head home and figure it out. And then we'll come back in the morning and, and take care of business. Here we are. Let's see uh, what we can find here. I'm going to make the quest. What is it? The Hunter's Spindle? Is that what it said? Yeah, the hunter's hand spindle. Okay. Um, okay, so it is the active quest. Very good. Right, so we can find this thing. Mm, what kind of levels do we have here? No. Can't tell what level he is. I guess I gotta hit him first. Oh, level nine. Okay. Definitely stepping up a little bit. And you're dead. Beautiful. That's right. Give me your loot. Uh, got a chest in here? Nope. Sleep. No, I don't want to sleep. Get up. <laughs> it didn't look like a normal chest. I was like, that's kind of weird. Uh, gotta get that guy. Alright, he's done. Damn, is this all archers or what?
Yeah, this is like all archers. I mean, it's, it's easy. They're easy. But it's just kind of weird. Oh, scoop water. Okay. I'll do that. I don't want to do it on camera, though. You need to see me scooping water all day. Mm -hmm. That's a cool looking door. I'm not gonna lie. What's this? Go ahead and read that if you want. Pause the video. You got a uh, a location marked. And a chest. Ooh. Cool mace. Okay. Retrace uh, scree steps. Is that all here? I guess it is. Let's go to the next place. Over here? I'm just going wherever this game tells me to go. Just want me to go this way? I'm going to go this way. I know what you're going to say. Read this stuff. I know. I know. I just don't want to. Yeah, mutt. I don't like the ways they go up in levels to give you the same stuff. Like the loot doesn't get any better. It ain't right, I tells you. Location reached. Okay. <laughs> Is that over here? Abandoned hunter camp. Take that. Uh. Alright, hold on. I know they're weak against fire. I was just so close to them. I figured I'd swing my sword at them like an idiot. Go ahead, pause the video if you'd like to read. And let's see what we got in here. Okay. That's got 34 damage. Like, without even upgrading it? Oh, it only has one upgrading level. Okay. Fair enough. Now, are we... Yep, we're done here. We need to go to some cave. Alright, we gotta start going up to the north now. Now, I don't know how far north we're going to be able to go, but I'm going to go as far as I can, and we'll just kind of see. I, I don't think we're going to make it where we need to go in this video, though. But I will work on it. We'll at least be exploring new things. So that's good. What do we have in here? I feel like I should take some time to do some grinding as well. Like, I just feel like my levels are not keeping up with the areas I'm going through. Well, they seem to be doing okay, so... But you're always doing okay until you're not. I gotta keep reminding myself that death is not that big of a deal in this game. I mean, it sucks. And there is penalties, but, you know... Level 11. Damn it, I thought I could break through his defense in time. Um, but yeah, there is some penalties, but... It's not like the end of the world, you know? Like, the way I play sometimes, you'd think you're gonna get your character deleted. Alright. Break his defense. Oh, I almost, I almost did it. Alright, now he's broken. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more healing back. Oh, I'm walking in mud. I'm slow. Look at that. So, the, I don't think the parry bonus is enough to, like, really, like, risk getting hit. If I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. That's why I don't use it a lot. Cool. I didn't know if you could close it behind you. Ah, he was on a toilet, poor guy. Maybe it was Elvis. Died on a toilet. Oh, here we go. Ooh, that's probably an upgrade. Um, so I use two different kinds of wands in this game. Fire and ice. One's good for one, one's good for the other. Uh, ice is always the... Well, it's always supposed to be the first one. Now, let's make fire the first one. So that means that's 17. This is 26. That's a major upgrade right there. And we can salvage that. Do we care about this? I mean, it's better than mine. But, man, I hate not using legendary. Is it two-handed? No, it's one-handed. So what do you guys think? I'm going to keep with the legendary, just because I like legendary stuff. 
But that's an upgrade, right? That's a straight up upgrade. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It just feels wrong using something other than legendary. All right, let's keep on keeping on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just devastating. I want to get a level so I can get my blink ability. I'm getting pretty close. Like that. We gotta go up and get that punk. Block, fool. Go up and get that archer. Uh, go ahead and read that if you want. Pause the video. I am not safe. Got bombs everywhere. Oops. Oh, no, no, no. I thought there was, um... Here, let's blow this up. Come on. There you go. Oh, goodness. Dude, if the if the bombs don't hit him, I'm calling bullshit. And I don't think they do, although I could be wrong. Oh, here we go. Um, hold on a sec. Go ahead and do this. No, it doesn't look any. Doesn't look like it's what I'm meant to do. Is there really nothing down here? Oh, repair equipment. Yeah, I'll do that. All items repaired. Um, okay, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. I think I could throw this. I'd like to um see if there's anything down here. I can... Oh, that's metal, okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything back here. I don't waste a lot of time back here. I can come back. Let me know if, let me know if I missed anything back there. I'd be happy to go back and check it out. Let's get up here and kick some ass. Shoot, I ran out of uh, my water. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 that's not a good spot to be in. That is not a good spot to be in. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um, first of all, seven. And then you can't roll out of that. That's okay. They might not be following me anymore. I can handle what's up there. I just can't handle it without any water or anything. That was really dumb for me to run up there like that. So how about seven? How about eight? We're going a little long here, guys. Uh, how do I get up there? Oh, there it is. Take your ass out. All right. Level 11, baby. Damn it. All right. Let's go to H and let's do blink. So now instead of rolling, I do this. Pretty cool. All right, let's get upstairs and kick some ass. I think they got spread out a little bit too, which is gonna be bad for them. Oh, crap. See, they don't they don't hurt their own guys. That ain't right. That ain't right, damn it. Damn swing. Dodge or block or something. I think somebody said blocks on a cooldown. Right, got your ass, and let's do it. Ah, nice try.
You're in trouble, pal. Alright, cool. Let's loot him up and keep going. I'm trying to double jump, damn it. Alright, six. Backstabbing damage, boy. Damn it. See, that should have hit him. That should have hurt him. Like, like, badly. Damn, man. My block is just not coming in when I want it to. That guy's shooting bombs at me when I'm trying to loot. You know what? Let's go kill that jackass before we do anything else. That's pissing me off. Where the hell is he? Oh! Look at this. A flame altar. Cool. I don't know where he is. Is he in that building? Let's come check it out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where he is. Maybe I killed him and didn't even notice. Take that. Oh, we didn't have to break in. <laughs> and got that. Two chests in here. One silver, one gold. Come on, give me something really good. Ugh. I mean, I'm sure that'd be good. I mean, I am a battle mage, but I'm more battle than mage, if that makes any sense. Okay. Let's take a look on our map. Okay, we are done here. What is the next part of the quest go? Oh, okay. All right. Well, we're going to have to do the next part of the quest next time because we are super, super long on this one. But, oh, is that the red? Oh, that's the red mist. That's where I can't go in. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, but we are going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.